Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, your main event of the evening to be fought over three five-minute rounds. So introducing first, hiding out of the blue corner tonight, making her professional debut, representing Phoenix MMA. Please welcome Carrie Ison. Her opponent standing across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. She enters tonight with a record. One victory, no defeats. Representing Manchester top team. Make some noise for Dakota Dejiva. Your referee in charge for the action, Mr. Nico. Joker. Well, ladies and gentlemen, cage door set to close on this, our main event. Dakota Decheva, the Manchester top team prospect. 1-0 as a pro, taking on Carrie Isom, making her pro debut, representing Phoenix MMA. And these ladies... Isom wasting no time, but... Dakota, Dakota is really picking her off. Dakota and Isom have met before. It was Dakota's last amateur match. And now, stepping in to replace Dee Bradley, we have Carrie Isom coming in for her pro debut. So these really? two young ladies know each other, and perhaps Carrie thinks she's seen something that she can exploit the first time. Yeah, I think it's the sole of Dakota's foot yeah. several times. Big oh. push kick again. Really working well for the court. That one straight through the middle. And already marking up her opponent's face. Big knee to the body there. The first, the first encounter ended. First round rear naked choke for Dakota Decheva. Yeah, close distance. Could work for Isom. She comes from a good grappling stock of Jimmy Johnson there in a corner. But in the clinch, Dakota, yeah, the knees, ruthless. the elbows. This Big young lady likes to strike. And so composed, takes half a step backwards to throw more shots. And Isom's left uh, hitting air with the looping punches. Nicole just looks so comfortable. And straight, and wearing the fight already. Reddened around the face. But I gotta give this girl, I've gotta give this woman props. She stepped in the cage already with Dakota. She knows what she's getting into, and she feels she can do something different this time. Yeah, she closed the distance, wants to shoot for the legs so she doesn't eat too many of those knees. Punishing knees in the clinch from Dakota there. Yeah, Dakota just a... Uh, oh, oh, spinning, spinning back, back elbow. elbow just missed. And this is the thing. And oh, another! And a knee! Straight across And the another head. elbow! And another! That's opened up a cut on Isom's head. Big back elbow. No quitting Isom at all as she throws back, though. Yeah, still coming forward. Dakota Trying again. Time. And you knew that as soon as the Cheva got into the pro ranks, she would enjoy using the elbows. Time off. You're going to take a look at that cut. It's a huge cut and a wonderful, wonderful performance so far. I've got so much respect for Carrie Isom. Absolutely. Tough as nails. Kept coming forward despite those shots. Doctor's taking a look at that. I'm not sure if he looks too concerned. It's, I can see. It's just oh, to the side of the eye. It's nice yeah. and deep, but it's to the side. I mean, it's a big cut, though. Yeah, it's a big old gash, that one. I think we're going to... Uh, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it is stopped. Yeah, it could end Vaseline there. or stop it. Yeah, it's big, it's wide. And it's in a decent place where the blood would run down the side. So not necessarily affecting the vision, but the size and the depth of that cut of that elbow is... Uh, a debuting pro, you've got to... I know it, we protect the amateurs a little bit. There'll be no quit at all in Kerry Isom. Uh, they're going to let it go. And Dakota ready to yeah, go Yeah, Dakota was calling her on. It's kind of like watching the Wimbledon, the, the Wimbledon, the US Open final last night. And Isom is slinging some leverage, coming in, closing the distance. Wow, well, she's got to, she's swinging hard and swinging angry now because she needs, oh, big knee! And another! Middle. Kerry needs better head position than that, otherwise she's going to be eating them shots all night. This is a little bit better, nice pressure. Yeah. Left knee up through the middle. Forcing the... Downward elbow Gotta there. Got to be the careful of the 12 the six. The Pressuring Dakota against the cage. 
Dakota looking to muscle off again with a big knee into the midsection. Teep down the middle to the chest. Nice, I'm still in there, still throwing. Ah, right, she's the one tough young lady. God, gotta be careful, she turned her nice back. Nice fake got into knee. that knee from the body. I'm, and everyone, oh, oh and big knee and another, another and another. Isom needs to get her posture back. She can't stay there eating those knees, especially with that cut already open. Dakota working her way around to take the back. Another knee. Referee taking a close look at this one. Isom's going to have to improve her position. She's got like a weird hold on Dakota's head, which is probably preventing the worst of the power coming from Not anymore. A Dakota on the back could take the back now if she wanted, but happy to throw those knees and strikes. And You'd have thought, given the choice of the clincher throwing an elbow, Dakota's going to choose the elbow every time. Absolutely. Good. Isom still looks like she's in the game, you know, head's still in the game, despite all this punishment she's already taken. So Dakota with, with, the, with the take down. Yeah, nice trip, steps over. Straight to mount as well, is it? Yeah, just about. And, uh, but one butterfly hook in there for Isom. Fighting for a, a potential guillotine. Dakota's got to be wary, she's got to stay safe here. Isom uh, will have some good BJJ to her credit. You'd think Isom, even, even though perhaps she's on the bottom, she'd be happy to pull Dakota in and just hold on for now, but Dakota well, not yeah, giving I'm her. I'm not sure about that now with these no. punches raining down. Looking to underhook the leg, potentially for a sweep, but Dakota brilliantly slides that yeah. knee across. See how she's trapping her legs at the same time. Stepping over now, and again, just the hat. Is she gonna slide that knee over the belly into the mount? I can foresee some elbows coming potentially from this position. Punches for Dakota, raining down. Okay, really yeah. need to improve her position. Now, nah, referee's it. seen enough of Dakota Decheva. Moves the 2-0, but it's Carrie Isom is one of the toughest young women I, I know. Great performance. The elbow. She's pointing at the elbow. Distinguished guests. At a time of four minutes, 49 seconds of the first round, your referee, Nico Jorka stops the contest due to strikes. Your winner by TKO in the red corner, Dakota Tijima. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with the winner, Dakota Tijima, 2 0 now. Before we talk about the finish, I want to give a quick shout out to your opponent, Carrie Isom. Stepping in on short notice, she knows what it's like to step in the cage with you. She did so as an amateur. How grateful are you to her for giving you the opportunity to get in the cage in front of this crowd? So I asked my next question, I mean, looking around the UK, I cannot see many women at or a bantamweight who are going to want to step into that cage. You know, is it, it's a, it, for me it's a case of it's probably three or, four, three or four more on the regional scene and then we're going to lose you to a big promotion. Is that the plan?